um greetings guys welcome to the channel my name is dj odyssey if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment on the video so that it can help grow the channel as well you know so on today's video i'm gonna show you guys maybe a trick that i feel like most of you don't probably use when you are uh, maybe remixing songs especially when it comes to vocals so you want to align them so fine for me now they are aligned in a way i'm just going to show you what happens every time you change maybe the bpm and all that what do you need to do to actually make sure that that uh a vocal sticks to the bpm at mostly it also helps with the drums as well you know so but i'm going to show you with something very long like the vocals and then Let's see what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. I haven't prepared this, but I'm just going to try and talk uh, you through this whole process. It's a very simple process. It can take us one to two minutes and then I'm out of here, you know. So fine. I've loaded these vocals. Um, if you entered the remix, you already know these vocals. Uh, Umjola vocals. Uh, I said, um, on instructions, I said, they are 112 BPM. So I've set this thing to 112 VPM and uh, there's no need for you to change anything actually. There's no need to move them too much and so you just put them in because they were a wave and then once you place them here, they already sit well on the track, you know. So if I put the metronome now, it sounds like this. <laughs> Zola Zoli Mondo So basically they are on the beat. Um and then so maybe it might hit you when you want to say uh maybe you want to make it three step and you wanna take it from one twelve to one eighteen and then so when you get to one eighteen um it comes off beat. It's just one stay there, you know. You can hear it's not on the beat, you know. So that's the first thing that could be the problem. Um, you cannot make it be on the beat, stay on the beat. So with FL Studio, one of my tricks to do is come here on this wave thing there say fit to tempo and then so i already know this is on 112 so you just click on this but if it's if it's writing the wrong bpm on top come here and say type in bpm mm -hmm. and you write 112 and then say okay and then it's gonna stretch it right once it gets stretched it can be on any bpm and now if you play this at 118 <laughs> You can hear now the b it's on the right BPM, it's going well. Even if I take it to 120, it will ask me if I want to restretch this. And I say yes, and then it stays on the BPM, so you don't have to lose, um, you don't have to keep on moving it around, you know. So it helps you out every time that you have a problem with vocals like this or drums, you know. So if you know that the, the right BPM for your drums, you just Make sure that you come here, fit the tempo, you write the BPM and it makes it stick to that. And no matter what BPM you go to, it will always be on the right uh, beat with the whole thing, you know. So that's how you do something like this. Um, I just try to get like an Afro House. Let's go Afro House Essentials and take Essentials. Let's get a loop, drum loops. Um, just to make you hear so 
So I'm just gonna do this and then so that you can hear what I'm talking about. So this is already on 120. <laughs> you can hear it goes in right with the whole thing as the groove with the whole track you know and um if i was to move it to 118 it's gonna say we stretch uh so you wait so the main thing is that my drums normally if you see this red thing it means i've already make sure that they are embedded with the with the bpm so they don't lose bpm they also stretch you know everything is still moving fine because the drums have have been embedded with the bpm the vocals have been embedded with the bpm the speed decreases everything is still fine and that's proper and then you can add other things as well i'm just playing around now uh it sounds more afro serious afro house you know so i can put in maybe nexus like the hollywood violins uh we set it on c minor so you can go to the c and say c minus gate and then you can just put this on the c you can put it here for now Uh, try this for it here hey man you can play around you know I just want this video to be longer and everything. Uh, I don't know. I'm just showing you something. But I'm done. Yes, I'm done. Back in the days, I think we used to do this, right? <laughs> You can just make it. man i'm just playing around so yeah i'll just showing you the small basics into making vocals and your drums it basically anything if you have the bpm make sure that um, you're able to embed the bpm into into the sample and once you're done with the sample it can fit onto any bpm that you take it to you take it to 500 bpm it's just gonna sound weird but it will still it will be on 500 it will run you know so yeah so i hope this was helpful maybe for our next um remix challenge you guys wouldn't have maybe problems like this you know so i'm very grateful for you for tuning in today so yeah don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys on my next tutorial